Welcome back to today's Photo Minute. My name is Brian Osborne of the Photo Classroom. Kind of excited to join you in the backyard again because uh, I have a great follow-up example that I just did uh, of some deer in the backyard. Um, and it was all about changing the white balance in order to get more pleasing color. It's what we talked about yesterday in uh, yesterday's video and we were applying it to plants and we were talking about being in the shade. But if you actually read the post, I also talked about how sometimes warming up the white balance is something that you need to do at dusk or dawn as well as obviously on overcast days. And so um, we just had that opportunity to uh, show that to you. So we're going to run this video and show you. Uh, we're going to start out an auto white balance and so when you first see it, we're going to be an auto white balance, which looks okay. Probably just a little bit blue. And then right now, we just went to cloudy white balance, and you see how it warmed it up. And especially when the deer walks into the, just that little beam of light, it's so pleasing. And we were able to make it warmer just by uh, changing our white balance. So it was neat to be able to show it to you in the actual video. We'll also have some pictures that we'll be uh, showing online uh, as well uh, of the deer at different white balances. Um, here's one other thing I wanted to add to the mix though. So far we talked about auto white balance, camera gets to choose what color. We've talked about cloudy or shade white balance. But what would happen if, let's say cloudy was a little too warm, but uh, auto was a little too blue? And so the, the answer to that is that you can actually customize it on many cameras uh, by using what we call K white balance, which is how color is measured anyhow on a Kelvin scale. And you can actually change the color temperatures uh, yourself. And in fact, uh, auto white balance is probably pretty close to uh, 5200 degrees Kelvin. Uh, cloudy on my Nikon camera and on the um, uh, Canons as well is 6000 degrees Kelvin. And uh, so if you feel like cloudy is a little too warm and auto is a little too cool, then uh, one of the options is to go to your K white balance and to actually dial in a value in between the two uh, presets, we would call them, on your camera itself. And in fact, most of the pictures I shoot, if the, if the animals or the subject are not in the sun, um, and if uh, cloudy is a little too warm in the shade, or at the end of the day like we've illustrated, uh, are often in K white balance, and I'll actually go between 55 or 5800 degrees Kelvin, because sometimes cloudy is a little too warm. So uh, one of the challenges is for you to go ahead and practice that on your own. See if you have a K white balance, and if you find that the presets, the little symbol modes, are too much of a change in terms of the color balance, then uh, you can play with K uh, white balance and actually adjust on the Kelvin scale yourself. Hey, I hope this has been helpful. It's been certainly cool to see some deer in action and to be able to get some video and some uh, stills of that. I uh, hope you have a great day, and thank you again for joining us for today's Photo Minute.